Engine Road Progression, bring you guys a new video. Switching out the alternator on the Jeep today. Got the Beamer in the background, got Sky. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, bring you guys with. I figured why not shoot the video? Since I'm already gonna be doing it, might as well put it out there. Um, it should be fairly simple. I'm gonna start by disconnecting the battery and then going ahead and taking off all this. I already took the band off, but you do wanna make sure that you take the battery off because you don't want any shortages or anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the battery. I already got the serpentine belt off and I'll, go, I'll show you guys a little step-by-step -step as I go deeper into it. So I ended up taking off this bolt right here. It's gonna be a 15 millimeter. It's gonna be this long bolt that holds the alternator in place. Then they got the other 15, which is right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take off this one right here. And then I think it's just these two clips. So I will update you on what size that is and when I get it off. Got this one off, it is a 13 millimeter. It's gonna be this little black one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect these two clips and um, show you guys when I'm swapping it out. So I finally got this one off. This was a 13 mil. This one was a 13 mil as well. But if you look at the other one, you're not gonna need that screw because it comes with a new one already. And then it's got the part for the sensor, all the other things. So now I'm gonna go ahead and swap this out. Got both these things out. I'm gonna pop this out and go ahead and swap them out. Show you guys a little bit of them side by side so you can see. But as you can tell, it's getting old. The truck's got a lot of miles. It's got about 169,000 miles on it. So, you know, over time, shit's gonna start corroding, it's going bad. I was waiting for this to go out and it finally went out because I just had the starter issue last year. But I'm gonna go ahead and get that out and show you guys what they look like. So, we finally got it out. Here's what it's looking like. This one looks a little beat, as you can tell. It's starting to rust right here at the alternator um, pulley. But here's the new one. I went ahead and got the refurbished one because it was half, so I paid like $230 for this one, and then when you return the core, it's $30 back or $35. Bucks. I don't remember exactly what it was. But this one and the new one have lifetime warranty, so I figured... I don't want to pay double, especially if you can get re replace it any. You can replace it whenever, so I'm not really worried about that because of the warranty. So now, basically, gonna do everything in reverse. So I'm gonna put this back in here, and um, should be good. I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's back together, since it's pretty repetitive anyway. Okay, so I finally got it on, got everything screwed back on, everything's firm, tight. All the clips are back in place went ahead put the belt back on I'm gonna go ahead and connect the battery and then turn it on and see if the voltage goes up I use this little voltage reader so when you use that you put on the battery the battery should have 12 volts and when you turn the car on what should happen is it should go up to 14 volts because the alternator should be charging it when I did the when I went to check if it was my battery or my alternator I plugged it in to, I put the voltage reader on the battery and it was reading 12 volts and when I would turn on the car it would um, stay at 12 it would not charge to 14 volts which is how I knew that the alternator was not working and that it wasn't charging the battery the thing that was weird is I drove it 15 minutes on just battery and it didn't die thankfully thankfully I guess my truck loves me enough but we're gonna go ahead and plug it in uh, see if the battery's reading at 12 and if it charges up to 14 volts and I'll show you guys a little bit on how to you could test that. But you guys, now that I got the battery plugged in, I got it stuck in there just because I'm a one-man job right now. So when you touch the positive and the negative on the battery, you'll see it go up to 12. But when you have the truck turned on, it should go up to 14 volts. And that's how you know if it's charging because a battery should be at at least 14 volts with the alternator on. So that's a good way to find out because I went to AutoZone. They said my battery wasn't fully charged or whatever and um they said they had to charge it wait a whole hour with this technique you could figure out in literally less than two seconds you literally check it 12 volts that means the battery's good turn the truck on goes to 14 volts then your alternator is good but that's a good way to know so now with the truck on you'll see it'll read 14 volts so now you know that the truck is actually being the battery is actually being charged by the alternator so just a key thing to know, note, 
you know, if you ever want to find out, if you have one of those voltage readers, definitely with something to invest in. I'm going to take the drive, the truck for a little drive and make sure that everything's good. Uh, should be good, good now because earlier it was not charging the battery. So now that that's good, I'm going to go ahead and return the core. Uh, today was a short video. Just wanted to put this video out there. If you guys are new to the channel, we post a video every Wednesday. We have this car. We have uh, Rudy's M uh, E36 M3 uh, Audi SQ5. We have Jeremy's uh, Z34 370Z. And we got Jesse's MK7.5 GTI. So if you guys want to look at other videos, we have those. In previous videos, we have a little bit of a behind the build on all the other cars if you want to check that out. But that pretty much sums it up for today's video. Hope you guys liked it. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe because that helps the algorithm. And until next time, peace.